Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of emergency medicine is severe sepsis and septic shock. The outlines which we will discuss in our today's lecture will be the anatomic essentials. What are the uh, anatomic essentials that leads to the development of severe sepsis and then the septic shock starting from the entrance of the pathogenic microorganism and uh, how it can damage the different barriers and how it can access to the uh, blood vessels and the bloodstream. So all that we will discuss in our today's topic. Then another outline which we will discuss is the systemic oxygen transport. What's the mechanism or how, what's the route through which the blood enters the heart and how it gets the oxygen and how that oxygen is delivered to the different parts of the body. Then we will talk about the physical examination of the patient with the uh, severe sepsis or septic shock. What are the most important findings of the patient including the uh, hypothermia, hyperthermia, hypotension, uh, then the level of alertness and uh, tachycardia, bradycardia. So all that we will discuss in uh, the physical examination of the patient. Then we will discuss what's the clinical sepsis and how this happened and how uh, affected are the blood vessels and how they are affected when we label the patient or when we uh, see the clinical sepsis. Then some diagnostic testings and then what are the variables of the diagnostic testing in the severe sepsis and shock. We will discuss this in detail, the diagnostic testing of the patient with severe sepsis and shock. Early hemodynamic optimization, what are the different uh, uh, early hemodynamic optimization we should uh, 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 give to the patient because hemodynamically patient who is in shock or who has severe sepsis, hemodynamically that patient is very, very in bad condition and the, we should try to make that person hemodynamically stable to uh, in, in increase the prognosis of the patient. Then in different antimicrobial drugs we, sh we can try on the patient depending on if we know the cause of the sepsis or if we don't know the cause of the sepsis. So both unknown cases and the uh, known cases of the sepsis, what are the drugs of the choice, we will discuss that. And also we will talk about the volume and inotropic therapy of the patient with sepsis and shock. Intensive insulin therapy, we will also discuss about this, uh, how we can control the uh, glucose level, we should uh, bring that to the normal and also what are the other uh, intensive uh, therapy uh, measures we can take in patients with the sepsis and shock. So all that we will discuss in our today's topic of severe sepsis and septic shock. And besides that, we have also another uh, lectures available on the website, which you can uh, go visit to the website and you can watch those lectures also. Thank you for watching scardia.com.